guys welcome to ASFN today I'm doing an all-purpose trace which basically consists of a circle lock piece of number seven by seven Surflon Supreme it's American fishing wire it's very soft very supple um, and a piece of nylon about a meter in length the reason we use it is it's a trace that if you're fishing in an area where you're not too sure whether there are toothy critters around, for instance, raggies. The traces have enough wire on it so that the raggy doesn't bite you off, or a grey shark, or a small hammer, or whatever the case may be. But it's still soft and supple enough for a blue ray, a lesser eagle ray, any of those other flat fish to come around and actually feed on. Okay, what we require for it? Very simply, Number 36 kilo Maxima Ultra Green. Our old trusty mustard 8 tuna circle. Um, some heat shrink, 1.6 mil. Works perfectly well for this. Size 4 power swivel, size 3 power swivel. And of course, our Surflon Supreme 7x7, seven seven, soft and supple. Red permanent marker. I'm going to show you a little trick with that. And of course, side cutters, pliers, and a pair of scissors. Let's start off. I forgot about a lighter. We always need a lighter. That's what I need. Okay. Mustard tuna circle 8 0. For all purposes, best all round hook for those slightly bigger flat fish that you might get Surflon Supreme 90 pound like I said right in the beginning you're gonna make it about 400 long so I'm just gonna take it and cut off about 400 mils of wire there we go and we're gonna snell it onto our circle lock and how we go about doing it is basically taking the tag end pinch it in your fingers and you wrap it around five or six times so let's go the closer you keep it the better it is one two three four five five is good enough we're gonna go through the back of the eye coming down and we're gonna put it over there quickly and I'm just gonna use the lighter just to slightly melt it I don't know if you're gonna see from there I'm just gonna try quickly it works better if you've got something at home that you can actually hold on to, burglar guard, stuff like that. Door handle. There we go. Just let it cool down for a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's it there. Cut off the tag end, which is this part over here. Let me just cut that off quickly. There we go, nice and neat. And you can see how soft and supple this wire is. And that's very, very important when it comes to fishing for flat fish um, next maxima 36 kilo we're going to take about a meter of it so undo this wire just over a meter we're going to tie two figure of eights basically you start with a nylon three times around because it's nylon so we're going to go one two three times around back through and out and there's our figure of eight forming slight bit of lubrication there take the tag end in your mouth and just apply slight pressure you don't want to pull it too tight the wire part of it because it's wire we do it twice the loops so let's go around again once twice back through the back we then open it up, there's your figure of eight forming. A bit of lubrication there. Slide your knot down, don't pull. So, there we go, the two are together. I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers to pull the knot tight. There we go. You can see both knots are very close together now. Pull the knot as tight as you can. Take your finger, put the nylon next to it, and now give it a good pull as hard as you can there we go cut off the, uh, the tag end of the nylon and obviously the wire you're gonna have to use side cutters for 
Yeah, there's the knot. Very simple, very easy to do. Now, about 20 centimeters down, what I'm going to do is a stopper knot. Basically, it's two figure of eights, a little bit of heat shrink, and we melt the heat shrink by using steam. The steam does not uh, damage the nylon. Okay, so let's get a, a bit of nylon quickly. There we go. 22-23 kilo, it's up to you. Preferably a soft, supple nylon. So let's just do the figure of eights. So again, we're going to go around one, two, three, four times. Back through the back. Open it up. There we go. A bit of lubrication. Push the knots together. Get it to where you want it to be. So, like I said, about 20 centimeters away. Pull it tight. Cut the tag ends off. Do exactly the same again. Two, three, four. You can also use a UV knot sense, which is a, a glue designed for nylon and that. It does work extremely well over your knot, just to keep it in place. Instead of heat shrink, if you're worried about that. There we go. So there's our two stopper knots. Okay, very simple, very easy. Now we're going to take 1.6 mil um, heat shrink. We're going to cut about two centimeters, two and a half centimeters off. Slide it down the top and just give it a bit of lubrication. Just make sure everything sits properly inside it, especially with these little tag ends that stick out. Make sure it goes into the actual heat shrink there. That one's a little bit too long, so we're just going to snip him a bit. There we go. And carry on sliding it all the way down. More lubrication on it. you can see over there obviously that's the beginning of the knot right there and you give a, about a centimeter extra just so that that binds onto the nylon when you put it under the steam under the the warmth the heat of the actual steam I'm just gonna shoot back to the kettle in the tea room and just quickly give it a little bit of a steam in I'll come back now give me one second And there we are guys, just come back from the tea room and you can see how that heat shrink has pulled over the two knots. Absolutely perfect. Okay, take a clear bead now, let's grab a clear bead, sorry guys. One clear bead, slide him down, Give the knotters. Our size 4 power swivel. You can use an NT swivel as well. It works extremely well. There we go. Our size 3 power swivel. One of those. Just slightly bigger. And tire figure of 8. So all we're going to do is go 1, 2, 3. Back through the back. This whole trace at the end of the day is about 1.4 meters in length. Slide it up. Just to make sure that that knot is tight, just put my circle look in and pull it as hard as I can. <clears throat> okay. So that's what it looks like so far. Now, we're going to attach our uh, sinker snoot to it.
Ja. We're going to put to the eye of the, the line through the eye of the actual swivel, just our figure of eight, like so, back through the back, and pull tight. Lubricate, slide down. Okay. Measure the length that we want it to be. Remember, we're going to have a dangle on here, so I'm just going to put that over there, like so. Dangle on it, so, yeah, that's where I want to cut it. There's our dangle. Sinker hook. Sinker clip. Take like so. And again, just a figure of eight on it. One, two, three. Slide that down, cut off the tag end. Grab a sinker. Let me just grab a sinker. Okay, there's our sinker. Just want to make sure I've done it the right length. Sometimes my measurements might slightly be out, but that should be about 100% right. Okay, so there's the entire trace. I'm gonna put that back on. Okay, so there's the entire trace. I'm gonna stand up and just show you guys. Over there. So now what happens is, with the circle hook, you obviously need a little bit of time for the fish to inhale it. So your sinker will slide all the way down and obviously hook the fish over there. And that's the trace, very simple. This is an all-purpose trace and it works extremely well for those bigger fish. Whether it be a flatfish, a shark, a skate, even a big edible. There we go guys, summer is coming, get ready. Okay, just on that all-purpose bait, this is a little trick that we've picked up. A lot of people like red for some reason. This is camo wire. In other words, it has no color, it'll take on the color of the water. But if you insist on having red wire, all you're going to do, take your permanent marker and color it in. So all we do is we do about six inches. And there we go guys, now your camo wire is red wire, or blood wire, whatever you'd like to call it. So there we go, simple as that. Just a little trick that we've picked up over the last year or two, very simple, change the color of your wire, very easy to do. If you want a black, take a black permanent marker, do exactly the same thing. Little trick for you guys when you want to change the color of your wire. Okay.